This is for all my people who have graduated college or even just graduated high school and you can't seem to find that job. You can't seem to find that career. You're either in college thinking about dropping out or, you know, you've already graduated and you have all these student loans and you still aren't in your job field and you just don't know what to do. This video is for you. So I graduated college about two years ago and I have a degree in mass communication. Now, granted, I'm doing things that have to do with my career. For example, this YouTube channel, um, I write articles. I've had like two articles published. I had a blog. Um, I do some marketing and social media at my current job. I'm still not in my set career. I think my dream job would be, well, I have a lot of talents, but you know, if I had to use my degree, I would love to have my own talk show or my own radio show or full-time YouTuber, you know, or something just where I'm engaging with people, helping people, giving them advice on how to solve their problems. That would be like my dream job, aside from being the wife of Trey Songs and a stay-at-home mother. Um, but with that being said, so depending on your field, sometimes it's really, really hard to get jobs in these fields. Most of the times, whenever you go to apply for jobs, you're like, okay, I got my degree, throw it at me, and then you go to apply for an entry-level job, and they want four years of experience. What a little trick that I learned when it came to applying for jobs like that, you technically, you already have four years of experience if you was in college for four years, studying what you're applying for. So I go ahead and check, yes, I have four years of experience. I mean, because if they're telling you, like for instance for me, if I'm applying for a radio job, and they want someone that was on air for four years, well, I had to be on air for four years when I was in college. We had to do assignments on air. We had to go out and shoot videos and make movies and all that stuff. Technically, you have the experience. Um, so, you know, for those jobs that are like, I need four to five years experience, especially if, you was, if it didn't take you four years to graduate and you really graduated in like six years, it's no shade, no tea, but add that as your experience. Like, you have more experience. Like, that's... Nothing to be ashamed of. That's just going to help you on your resume. So definitely check yes. Um, but if you find yourself in that position where you can't find the job that you're looking for, what I've learned is basically create your own job. I know that's what I've done. Like I knew that I, I think I was, I, well, I'll say this. I was a leasing agent for four or five years. I was an assistant manager of an apartment complex. And I still do it every now and then on the side. Through the company I work for, I can kind of just go in and whenever I want to or whenever I'm available. But, um, so whenever I would go to these jobs or whenever I was there, I wasn't there for marketing or social media. So I'll be like, hey, why don't you know you let me post on Facebook? Why don't you let me update your social media sites? Why don't you let me make flyers and plan events for you? Like that way I was using my degree to make my job more fun because I was doing what I wanted to do. Now, yeah, it was more work, but depending on where you are and, and the people you work for, they may add on to your pay. 
I know I just did that recently. I'm a gymnastics coach, but now I just I um I started doing marketing and social media for it, so now I get paid more money. And I didn't have to go start over at a whole other job and find somewhere else to go. Like it was already at the job that I'm at. So that definitely worked out. Definitely create the job that you want. Start your own business. Um, I know that's kind of easier said than done, especially if you don't have like a business degree or whatever, but like you can literally learn how to do anything on YouTube. Um, one thing that's been hard for me is I've always wanted to have like my own hairline or whatever, but it's like everybody is doing it. So I kind of don't want it no more. Like, you know, like why would I go and start a, a hairline when all like five of my best friends got hairlines? Like it kind of comes off as like, you know, kind of shady or competition. Like when I can just support their hairline and we all eat, you know, stuff like that. So start a business if you're not happy. I know I hate working for other people. I'm not meant to work under nobody. I'm barely... I, I found out early on, probably when I was two, that I'm meant to be my own boss. Um, so the things that I'm doing now, the things I'm doing behind the scenes when I'm not at work, even with my YouTube channel, you have to work on your own dream as well. So if you're at a job that you hate and you, and you want to be at this point six months from now, you have to come home and work on your own job. Now that's hard to do when you're depressed, I will say. Um, I know for me... I'd be so sad about going to work, being somewhere where I don't want to be, that by the time I get home, I just want to sleep. Depression naps are some of the best naps you will ever take, but that's time that I could be working on YouTube. That's why sometimes y'all don't get a lot of uploads from me, and sometimes whenever y'all see videos and I have on the same outfit, that means I did all these videos in one day. So this is about this is going to be probably like your third or fourth video that you see with me with this shirt on but i have to be in a filming mood if i'm not in a filming mood then y'all won't get videos and so i think when it comes to finding a job and dealing with depression that's something that gets me because i have to be in a mood to write an article i have to be in the mood to make a video i have to be in the mood to get up out the bed and do my makeup to look presentable for you all like it's it's a lot and and with all of that being said like basically if you don't like the situation, then just try to find a way to fix it. Now, if you're dealing with regular depression upon post-grad depression, then, like I said, you need to watch my, my first video when, I, when it comes to adulting. Like, you have to make a way. Like, you can't just shut off the world for, like, ever. Like, if you need a couple of mental health days, by all means, take one. But when you come out of that episode, you need to have a productive day. Like for me, I can have about three or four days where I'm just depressed, but I always make sure to have at least one day where I'm productive so I can get like a week's worth of things done in one day, which is why I'm putting out all these videos. So, um, yes. So if you don't like the job that you have, then by all means, create the job. You also have to become your, your biggest fan, if that makes sense. Like... When it comes to going to these jobs, and especially if you're dealing with depression, like you have to sell yourself. You have to make them feel like, okay, no one else deserves deserve this job. This job is designed for this person. Become your biggest fan. Like that's so easy for me, and it's not it's not arrogant and it's not conceited. Like it's just I believe in myself. I know I have a hard work that work ethic, and especially if you're depressed, and you're the reason that you're depressed is because you're not where you want to be. That should motivate you even more to get where you want to be. Like, for me, like, I like to talk about myself. I think I'm a pretty bomb girl, but on top of that, I know my worth ethic. I know that even though I deal with depression, I battle with it a lot, probably more than others, I know that a lot of it comes from not being where I want to be, not having the job I want to be, not having the financial stability that I need to have in order to live my lavish, extravagant life in my mind. But, you know, I know a lot of it comes from not being where I want to be. So I'm going to sell myself. I'm going to make sure... That I'm gonna make them think that the the job was designed for me. Like that was my job. Like you know, that's how you have to be. And since it's 2018, and given who our president is, apply for jobs you don't even qualify for. You know, and as of lately, I've been doing that, and I've been getting calls back. Cause honey, number one, no one has the experience that any of these people are looking for, and no one's coming out of college with 10 years experience at an entry level position. So by all means, go ahead and just apply for it. And then once you get the job, you better sell yourself like you've never sold any, anything else before. You better be, you better talk about, you know, 
I mean, just anything, what you can bring to the company that you want to advance in the company, that you want longevity with the company. Like, all of that things that people like to hear when you're at an interview, like, you can look up all that stuff on YouTube and just Google it. When they have the job description, mention that stuff. Put that in your cover letter. You literally have to just copy and paste it. Like, it's not hard to get these jobs that you don't qualify for. You actually just have to do the work. And it's not technically lying, you know? But like, like I said, the president... He ain't qualified to be a president. Oh, on and on and on and on. My cipher keeps moving like a rolling stone. On and on and on and on.